I'm now pleased to introduce Captain Jim McCauley, the United States Coast Guard Academy's 34th Commandant of Cadets, who will present the candidates for commissioning <laughs> as ensigns in the United States Coast Guard. Secretary Johnson, Admiral Papp, ladies and gentlemen, members of the class of 2014, good morning. Admiral Papp, as the Commandant of Cadets, I have the honor of presenting to you the candidates for the Commission of Ensign in the United States Coast Guard. They have met all military requirements. At this time, I invite you to address the class of 2014 and to administer the oath of office to those being commissioned in the United States Coast Guard. Thank you, Captain McCauley, and good morning again, shipmates. Actually, good afternoon. <laughs> I'd like to begin by taking this opportunity to thank all those who prepared these future ensigns. And also, it's uh, kind of nostalgic for me because this is my last opportunity on active duty to thank an institution that I care for and love so deeply. And I have to tell all of you here in front of me, I think for the first time ever in 40 years, as I drove towards the gate of the academy yesterday, I didn't get that queasy feeling in my stomach. <laughs> it does go away after a while. I felt really good about coming up here. More than anything else, because it's the culmination of your four years at the academy, four years that we've shared together. But I want to thank the parents, the grandparents, the brothers and sisters, all the loved ones in the crowd that did such a great job preparing these young men and women before they came to us in the United States Coast Guard. I want to thank the superintendent, Admiral Stowes. I want to thank the triumvirate that works here together, the Commandant of Cadets, Captain McCulley, the Dean of Academics, Kurt Colella, and the Director of Athletics, Tim Fitzpatrick the combination of military, academics, and athletics uh, that does so much to create leaders of character. I want to thank the Coast Guard Academy faculty and staff, the finest faculty and staff anywhere in your work to prepare them for graduation. And then finally, I want to thank the men and women of the United States Coast Guard Academy, the civilian staff, and particularly our enlisted personnel who, as I speak this morning, are working behind the scenes, keeping everything going, getting things set up. Uh, they labor here year after year, preparing things for all of you so that you can get to this day. And we're deeply indebted to them. And as the Commandant, my final time, I want to thank all my Coasties here for all the great work that they do. My goal four years ago was to prepare you for this day. You didn't know that, uh, but there was actually a program. The first event in that program, and the first time I met you as a class, was Homecoming 2010. You may have vague memories of it, but I have very fond memories. We were recognizing the class of 1960 for their 50th reunion. Because of the weather, we had to go inside Roland Hall, and now we've been doing it in Roland Hall ever since, because of all of you. After we presented the medals to the 50-year reunion class, spontaneously, all of you got up and gave a standing ovation to the class. As I looked at those mature, elderly Coasties, there were tears in their eyes when they were getting recognized by all of you, the young people that would inherit their service. And I have to imagine that all of you got a feeling that day that you were about to join that long blue line of Coast Guardsmen who have come before you. My next time with you was at the January leadership lecture, my first leadership lecture with you. And at that lecture, I'm sure you all remember vividly, I spoke about the oath of office, that same oath that you'll take today. I did that to inspire you and let you know what you're getting into. That at some point in time, you're going to make a contract with your government and your country in order to serve in the United States Coast Guard. The next leadership lecture, in 2012, I spoke about our heritage. I spoke with Bosa Mate First Class Bernie Weber, the keeper Richard Etheridge, and Seaman Billy Flores, who went down with the Coast Guard Cutter Blackthorn. I returned in 2013 for my third leadership lecture, 
and I talked about proficiency. And I used Richard Etheridge, our first African-American station keeper in the United States Coast Guard, as an example of proficiency in craft, proficiency in leadership, and disciplined initiative. And then finally this year, this past January, I gave you my lessons learned for my career in the Coast Guard, which I hope none of you will repeat, but if you do, you know that you can recover for them and have a successful career in the Coast Guard. So as I listen to the Secretary speak to you today, <laughs> what he was doing was asking you the question, how will you make a difference? How will you navigate the course ahead? So for my last lesson for you today, I'm going to share something with you. It'll occur right after the oath of office. It's a song that's very special to me. In fact, it's my favorite song. And no, I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> the Coast Guard Band is going to perform it. And Petty Officer Weichenglet, our vocalist, is going to sing it. The name of the song is American Anthem. It's special to me because it was always a favorite song of mine. But then one time, three years ago, after a dinner, when Petty Officer Weichenglet had sang the song, I got a call almost immediately afterwards to inform me that helicopter 6535 from Air Station Mobile had crashed at Mobile Bay with a loss of four Coast Guardsmen. And we repeated the song at the memorial service for those four Coast Guardsmen, and every memorial service we've had since, Petty Officer Weichenglet and the band have performed that and we have developed a special bond about this song. It's a special bond because it speaks to service. In fact, at the end of the first verse, it asks the question, what shall be our legacy? What will our children say? Almost the same thing the secretary was asking you. And the chorus answers those questions. Let them say of me, I was one who believed in sharing the blessings I've received. Let me know in my heart when my days are through. America, America, I gave my best to you. You'll love the song when you hear it, and you'll hear it in a few moments, but we have some business to conduct. So if you are ready to serve, if you are ready to begin your legacy, please stand and raise your right hand and then repeat after me. Having been appointed an ensign in the United States Coast Guard, I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I'm about to embark. So help me God. Congratulations, Ensigns. Welcome to the United States.